Coming up next, Salation News Asia Pacific. Hello and uh, welcome to the 181st episode of Salation News Asia Pacific. I'm your host, Arjay Brian of Radio Salation 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the Church Decor People. The headlines this week. Salesian musicians unite for networking. Guitar lessons instill discipline, improve academic performance. Pot painting helps creativity, self-expression. Digital addiction awareness training held. Inter-school football tournament attracts 400 youth. 44 students attend vocation camp. Salesian family joins Mission Sunday celebration. The news in detail. South Asia Salesian musicians unite for networking. Mr. Mervyn Joy reports from Chennai. On 20th October 2023, Music composers and musicians representing various South Asia provinces gathered online for the first time to share ideas and visions for a collaborative musical journey. General Counselor for Social Communication, Rome, Father Gildasio Mendes, chaired the meeting, while Boscom, South Asian Media Network Coordinator, Father Ernest Rosario, moderated the meeting which lasted for about 90 minutes. Father Mendes spoke of four main purposes for the meeting. First, to identify and acknowledge the Salesian musicians. Second, to get to know the kind of music that is produced. Third, to create a network of South Asian Salesian musicians on WhatsApp. And fourth, to make our music available worldwide. Some recommendations made by the participants are First, make available the original music tracks for adaptation into other regional languages. Second, create common channel playlist where all our music can be accessed. Third, restart brass bands in our institutions. Fourth, create publicity for Salesian productions. And fifth, Organize province and regional level music production competitions to encourage young Salesians to get involved in music production. Mr. Mervyn Joy reporting. Child friendly schools put children at the center of learning and engage them in play learning. Experts say children learn through example. Studies show that children pick up values of love, kindness, helpfulness, compassion and acceptance of each other, not by hearing but by seeing. Church Art Kolkata's children series offer life-size statues and attractive murals of children in various learning, sharing, helping and playful situations. These will inspire in children values of love, cooperation, kindness and gentleness. For hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Pass Pupil at churchart.ganguly at the rate gmail.com or WhatsApp or Telegram at country code 9198310-20945. India Guitar Lessons Instill Discipline Improve Academic Performance Pre-Novice Starius Marak reports from Dotma Assam. With Salesian Missions founding seven guitars and two guitar stands for a batch of 15 Salesian pre novices of Guwahati province in Dotma, Assam, remarkable improvement is seen in their discipline and academic performance. Next year, with the arrival of second batch, the number of pre novices will increase to 30. As students learn to play and care for the instruments, which are an integral part of liturgical celebrations and activities in the youth ministry, improvement in their overall performance and greater discipline is noticed. The students are 18 to 22 years old and are completing junior college studies before they enter Salesian novitiate. The guitars and music lessons will help future Salesian to coach future students 
and Salishan aspirants to enhance their musical talents. Starius Marak reporting. India pot painting helps creativity self-expression. Don Bosco School Coordinating Supervisor Dorothy Fernandez reports from Mumbai. Don Bosco High School and Junior College Naigao organized four weekend workshops for 40 students from 5th to 9th grades. Renowned artist and UNICEF art consultant Mr. David Jain was instructor for the pot painting workshop initiated by the Vice Principal Father Joachim Fernandez. The Provincial of Mumbai, Father Savio Silvera, visited and appreciated the activities that are therapeutic and aid in the mental well-being of students. The sessions provided hands-on experience to the students and a creative outlet while learning the color wheel and paint in three dimensions, as well as think out of the box and come up with novel designs. Dorothy Fernandez reporting. India Digital Addiction Awareness Training Held. Brother Alistair D'Souza reports from Mumbai. The Social Communication Commission of Bombay Province conducted a training program for trainers on digital addiction at Mumbai Provincial House on 26 October 2023. 35 participants from 14 institutions were present. Father Chris Ferreira guided participants to accept the dependence on mobile phones and realized that the young spend even more time in the digital world. Father Jacob Palaparambil and Father Robert Penn helped the participants understand boons and banes of the digital world. Father Penn also spoke about cognitive behavioral therapy as a way to begin the addiction process. After the training, the participants were instructed about how they were expected to carry out digital addiction awareness in their institutions. The Social Communication Commission also presented a toolkit to help the participants in this regard. Brother Alistair D'Souza reporting. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada, Darjeeling. <music> Nepal Inter-School Football Tournament attracts 400 youth. Father Augusti Pulikal reports from Kathmandu. The 7th Don Bosco Inter-School Football Tournament held at Barol Don Bosco School last month was a 13-day competition that honed the playing skills of 400 young footballers. This tournament started in 2015 has become a popular event in the region, bringing more unity and collaboration between the schools in the area. Hundreds of football fans flocked each day to watch the matches played by 25 teams in the two categories of high school and higher secondary school. His day of the match featured a cultural program and a prominent local personality as chief guest. Don Bosco School and neighboring Morningstar School are both run by five Salesians who form a single community. These two presences in eastern Nepal are part of the nine Salesian presences in Nepal, where the Salesians have been present for 31 years. Father Augusti Pulikal reporting. Thailand 44 students attend vocation camp. Father Sufot Ryungam Dominic Savio reports from Udintani. The vocation sector of the Youth Pastoral Commission, led by Father Naktavut Kisawat and confres from Samran, organized a vocation camp from 12 to 14 October 2023 at Don Bosco Vitya Udantani to propose the Salesian vocation and the life of St. John Bosco, the founder. In this camp, Father Nopadon Yosef shared about the Silesian clerical vocation, and Brother Sarapan Kesar shared about the life of St. John Bosco to the 44 Catholic students of Pratom 4 to Matthiom 3 level students. During these past years, the Youth Pastoral Commission started organizing this vocation campaign at the regional level to reach out more to the children from the provinces. The parents felt more comfortable sending their children to join the activity without worrying about the distance and the expenses. Father Sufot Ryungam Dominic Savio reporting. Hong Kong Salesian family joins Mission Sunday celebration. Phyllis Tang reports from Hong Kong. 
Solution School and Solution Parish, along with Province Youth Ministry and Vocation Offices, participated in the Mission Sunday celebration organized by Hong Kong Archdiocese in St. Paul's Common School in Hong Kong on 23rd October 2023. The first post-COVID-19 major gathering was the climax of a serious celebrative event organized by the diocese with the theme, Come and Follow Me, Go and Give Witness. The day was a combination of a spiritual and carnival celebrations, where Catholic schools, parishes, organizations, and various committees of the diocese set up their booths and stores. Salishian cooperators, parishioners, students, and Salishian youth of different Salishian family members had free booths attracting young people and families with games, prizes, and their joyful spirits. Filistang reporting. Those are the latest from Salation News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. Enjoy the rest of your day.